Welcome to Modern Plastics TV, the first and largest online TV for the plastics and polymer industry, voice of global plastics industry since 2013. Whitman developed a lot of technology for plastics and polymer industry from Austria, and they have global presence in more than 60 countries now. Definitely, India is one of them. Thank you, Mr. Michael Whitman, for joining Modern Plastics TV. You're welcome. Here Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you for joining us here in Düsseldorf during the exhibition, and. Uh, It is nice to see that you have a lot of innovation around us, showing mm -hmm. from Austria, selling globally with a lot of global presence. Tell us about you know little history about Vietnam. Many mm -hmm. of the people knows about right, Vietnam. Yeah. Everybody knows about Vietnam, but still yeah. it is nice to have. Sure. Now I like to do this. Yeah, the company has been founded by my father exactly 49 years uh, ago. And uh, the headquarter is still located in Vienna, Austria. Nowadays, we are manufacturing. We are a manufacturer of injection molding machines, of automation systems, and auxiliaries. And auxiliaries can range from temperature controllers to loaders to dryers to blenders uh, to granulators, uh, all kinds of auxiliaries around the molding machine. So we are able to provide complete systems. That means actually a complete work cell. Consisting of the molding machine and all the auxiliaries and automation around it. I see the robot system you have made. Latest innovation. Robots working with synchronizing with the globe and placing the flags on. Yes. Uh, then there are 60 countries where you are present. Could you elaborate? What is the latest innovation in robotic system and automation? Mm -hmm. Now, what we want to symbolize, what we want to show with this. Application here, which definitely is only for the show, is just the ability of our control system. Yeah, it offers a lot of different functions, and it should show here the possibility to synchronize different kind of movements, the movement of the globe together with the movements of the different axes of the robots. What we are what we are introducing and have done actually for quite some time is to combine linear motions with uh, with uh, rotational axes. For example, we are displaying it here at this globe application, but certainly also for the standard application for our work cells. Another one, there is a big um, a benefit and also a highlight of all our developments on a optimal cost-benefit ratio. That means all the developments we are doing right now are done in such a way to create out the most cost-efficient product. We are doing this also on the robots. We have new models here. What we call the Primus line, for instance, Primus stands for a standard unit which can be used for 80% of the applications uh, with a limited number of options and really giving the customers here the optimal price. Other options uh, and other new developments we are introducing are what I mentioned before: different kind of rotational axes, for example, a combination. Of what we call ABC X servo axis, yeah, everything is servo driven in order to allow here also lowest energy consumption. Energy consumption is important for European companies. I would say it's equally important, especially also in India, because it's not only a factor of saving energy but of saving the cost. Everybody talk of sustainability and uh, environment circular. What is the in uh, initiative for from Whitman? For this, a lot of energy saving, of yeah. course. What are you doing other than that? Yeah. Now, sustainability always has to come in combination with efficiency, and efficiency means actually cost efficiency. Yeah. Otherwise, if it's not a cost efficient solution, it would not have a chance to be really implemented to the market. You cannot force it on people. Yeah. There needs to be really also commercial advantage with sustainability. We are showing. Uh, several technologies uh, across all our products here. Yeah, from, for example, on the molding machine, we have the patented curse application. That means we are using from the motors when they are slowing down, when they are breaking, so to speak, so to speak, the energy. So for example, for our for our heaters, yeah, for the injection unit, we are using the energy also to support actually. Out the 24 volt supply for our control system. Yeah, these are some of the features on the robot itself. We have the echo mode. We have a smart removal 
Smart removal allows the robot actually to remove from the mold the part as quickly as possible, thereby decreasing the non-productive time. Also that actually is efficiency, also this is sustainability. On our uh, uh, auxiliary equipment, let's take for example our dryer. Uh, we have here the, what we call actually triple safe, yeah? methods to decrease the time for the regeneration of the zeolite and so on and so on. I can name a couple, I can name actually a lot of different kind of, um, of features in our equipment to increase sustainability and to increase the efficiency of the equipment at the same time. Future is automation and robotics. Here, don't miss to adopt the technology and automation globally it is a big market for you. We wish you all the success in the coming days. Enjoy your stay at the Soldov at K2025. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.